Hi guys, welcome back to Vlogmas. We are wrapping up here. Vlogmas is almost over. Christmas is like six days away. I don't know, but I am doing stockings today. I love doing stockings. I think they're so fun to open. I love getting stuff to put in the stockings. And I wanted to share with you some of the stuff I picked up, particularly because this is all really budget friendly stuff. A lot of it is from the Dollar Tree. I've got some like five below stuff. Really great finds though, not just junk, fun stuff, stuff I would like to get in my stocking. In fact, some of this might go in my stocking. I've kind of divided it up. I've got stuff for kids, I've got stuff for men, and stuff for women. Although, let's be honest, the stuff for men and women, a lot of it is interchangeable. I will start with the kids stuff because I think that's what like a lot of us are concerned with when we're getting stockings, is stuff to put in our kids' stockings. Uh, and looking at this, it's like, it's all Dollar Tree. I think there's one item here that's not a Dollar Tree item. Um, this is an item I picked up this year, and it's like a toy item that I had never seen at the Dollar Tree before. It's a food kit, um, and they sell stuff like this all the time, but this is special because it's like a little cutting board with a plastic knife, and you get two pieces of fruit that are Velcroed together, so you can slice it. How cute is that? It's five pieces? I don't know. That is great for a dollar. My daughter will love that. I got her two of these little activities. Um, they're both Christmas themed Rudolph and Mickey and so you get like this little coloring book that is attached to a box of crayons on the back. Is there stickers? Yes, there's stickers in here too. Oh yeah, look, there's a thing of stickers. So she got two. That's great. A little carry along. This would be great to take to like a restaurant to entertain your child. Got him for some card games. Um, this is a little Santa match game. This is really age appropriate for her. She's three. And then this is a little frozen match game. She will absolutely love this. We had a frozen birthday party for her. We're all into it. Uh, so that is perfect. This is a really awesome item. I've never seen this at Dollar Tree before. It's Play-Doh. It's not Play-Doh brand, but it's Play-Doh. They always sell this brand of Play-Doh, but this is a pack of eight. I think, yeah, you get eight colors in here. How awesome is that? My daughter played with Play-Doh for the first time, like, a couple weeks ago, and she really loved it. So she's going to like this. And I like this because, you know, Play-Doh, the kids leave the caps off so often, and it dries up. So get the inexpensive kind. This will be perfect for her. I got her a Mickey Mouse candy cane. We love Mickey in our home. If you've watched my channel, you know that. So this is cute. I love the retro vintage Mickey on it. I got her two of these play packs. I love play packs. Again, I bring stuff like this to restaurants, and I love that these are Christmas themed. They look like ornaments, a Mickey and a Santa. So in here you get a little coloring book, a sheet of stickers, and some crayons. Really cute. This came from Target, so I lied. It's not all Dollar Tree. I love this. It lights up. So we had one of these at Halloween time. This was one dollar. It was in the Target dollar spot, um, and it bounces. So it's like a baton. You can throw it. Let's see if I can get it to work. <laughs> you you throw it. And it'll it like it bounces and it'll hop up and it's like it's not it doesn't bounce like really far it's not crazy does it jingle no but it lights up when you throw it, it bounces around really cute for a dollar this came from the target dollar spot too i got this for three dollars we love these magic ink things it's one of these things where you get a marker and you color the pages and the color only shows up on the page it's not going to show up on your couch or whatever so really perfect right and it's mickey christmas themed this came from the Dollar Tree. They've been selling these lately, these little Barbie kits. I really liked this one because a lot of the kits are stuff that you need to use in conjunction with a Barbie. Like, it'll be a little kitchen set, so it'll be a mixer and a plate, but you need, like, the house and the kitchen to put it. This is, like, its own toy. It's Barbies. It's a dog with a collar and a bone and a bowl. A kid can open this up, and they've got everything they need to play with right here because my daughter doesn't have Barbies yet. She hasn't gotten into that phase, but this is perfect. She loves stuff with little animals. And then these came from Five Below. Oh, how cute these are five dollars um they are slippers like i said we are loving frozen and these are great because um it's really cold where i live actually it just started blizzarding and it's snowing crazy right now um and so i like my daughter's feet to be covered and i'll put her in socks in the evening but we have wood floors and she'll run around and she'll fall and she'll slip uh but these have a grip so this is cute i think she'll really like them that is her stocking that's enough. It's going to fill up her stocking. So I'm going to go on to the men and women. And I think I'm going to start with candy because I got just a pile of candy that I'll disperse. Uh, this is one of my favorite candy items and you're going to laugh at me maybe. It's Hanukkah Gelt. 
Is that funny to put in a stocking? I don't know. That's what we do in my house. We are a blended family. We celebrate Hanukkah and Christmas anyway. So it's totally normal for us to put something like gout in a stocking. And um, I really love this gout. This is my favorite gout. It comes from Trader Joe's. And every piece of uh, chocolate coin in here is a currency from a different country. How cute is that? So it's really fun to go through and see the different currencies. And they have a shekel in here. Shekels are Israel's currency. So I think that's really cute. Um, and I think I think it's a dollar. It might be a dollar fifty or two dollars but definitely affordable I got a bunch of bags of those I got some chocolate Santas from the Dollar Tree I love just classic chocolate Santas it's so throwback to me these are peanut butter this one I probably won't break up I'll probably put this whole thing in somebody's stocking and then this one I will break up and disperse because they're nicely sized um this is a Dollar Tree candy I like this it's a little Russell Stover um you get how many pieces I don't know Six pieces, so that's good. Uh, cause Russ, I mean, that's a nice brand. You know that that's going to be tasty chocolate and for a dollar, and it's a pretty little box. That'll probably be for a lady. I got a box of these little mini um, sour candy canes. This is great. We have one stocking recipient who prefers sour candy to, like, chocolate, so I've got a couple of soury things, and those will go to him. But I thought these were cute and festive. I love that you can get the candy at the Dollar Tree, and it's in the Christmas packaging. I just think that's fun and festive. Um, this might be from Target. I don't know. Like I said, I've been, I was looking for sour candy in Christmas packaging, and this is a trolley sour bite fruits. I don't know. It's candy cane shaped. I liked it. Uh, this came from Dollar Tree. It's a box of chocolates. I loved the little print on it. Really, really cute. Uh, so we got some Rudolph gummies, an Airheads ornament. That's cute. And then this is a Trader Joe's chocolate bar. This was like a dollar, dollar fifty maybe. And this is really high. This is like a grown-up candy bar, right? It's milk and dark chocolate with butterscotch bits. I already ate one of these. These are great. I love giving Trader Joe's candy bars in stockings because um, it's just really great candy. Perfect. Okay, so I'm going to go to the non-candy adult stuff. I guess I'll start with women. Uh, this is a little beauty blender. I mean, we all use these. This came from Primark, but Dollar Tree does sell these. I just happened to be a Primark and I picked it up for a dollar. Uh, I got this at Dollar Tree, a Q-Tex hand cream. I love that. It's name brand. It's great for the winter. I got a ton of face masks at the Dollar Tree, way more than I needed to get. And then I went back today and I got more because they had new stuff and I couldn't help myself. Uh, a bunch of them. So these are the Yes 2 cotton masks. They sell these at like Target for like $3. So they're great to buy at Dollar Tree, a really great value. I got a bunch. Um, they just, they've got all different kinds. A mud mask. They've got the kind that are like you fold out and put on your face. This one's an espresso mask. How cute is that? And then I got this one today. It's a gold mask. I don't even know what that means, but if the picture is anything to go by, it makes your face gold. How cute is that? I'm mad now. I should have bought two so my sister-in-law and I could do these together, but I thought that was really cool. Um, I caught this at the Christmas tree shops of all places, but it was a dollar and you get 10 packs of Christmas tissues. So that's great. I'll break that up, put a couple in everybody's stocking. I got a little cosmetic bag for my sister-in-law. This was from the Dollar Tree, and I've never seen this design before, and I just thought it was really pretty. And then my sister-in-law, one of her presents is a, what is it, a Polaroid Instax? That's what it's called, yeah. So I got her some of the film. I'm going to put it in her stocking, and she will have probably not opened the camera yet. I really hope she's not watching this video, um, but what I'm going to do is when she pulls it out of the stocking, I'll be like, oh, it's for your camera, and she'll be like, I don't have one of those, and I'll be like, oh, I thought you did, and then when she opens it, it'll be a joke. That's my plan, uh, and so now I'm going to show you some of the men's stuff. I got some really cool men toiletry things at the Dollar Tree. This is the Art of Shaving. They have these at the Dollar Tree. For $1, you get three different samples of their products. Art of Shaving is a really nice upscale men's grooming shop. So that was cool. I got a couple of those. I got, is this? hand cream yeah okay so this is dove men's cream which is kind of silly right because men could probably use just regular dove cream but it says men it's in a gray color masculine i think this is really cool to put into a men's stocking i got some like festive soaps i always do these i think this probably came from tj maxx or something i just love all the oh yeah this smells good this is this is what you want a man to smell like really good um i always buy the festive soaps i just love it this came from Dollar Tree. I'd never seen this before. Beard Balm. And they had a bunch of products like this. Like they had beard cream. I don't know. They had like four or five different beard products in this kind of a tube. Uh, looks really cool. It smells good. Yeah, I think that's cool. 
Okay, I picked up this little game. I'm not sure who's getting it. One of the guys will get it, but I figured we, we'd all just play it on Christmas Day. This is from the Dollar Tree. It's a little bag toss, and it's probably not going to be great quality, but I think it'll be fun. Like, Christmas Day, we'll all just kind of play it at the, at the table. Um, this is a Dollar Tree find. It's like a little scrubby brush. Not for your body, I think, for like automotive care or something. Um, my husband can use this in like his workshop. I love getting stuff like this at the Dollar Tree. Little odds and ends, like tools and stuff. That's perfect with a stocking stuffer. This came from the do from the um, Christmas tree shop. They had like an aisle of stocking stuffer. This is three juggling balls. My husband can juggle and he's really good at it. And my daughter is fascinated with it. He like he'll just pick lemons up and start juggling them. And she just loves to make him do this little trick. So I thought this would be cute. He can juggle for her with actual jug juggling balls. That'll be a good Christmas morning thing. Got socks. These came from Gap. They're just dress socks, but I mean, you can get dress socks anywhere. I just wanted to include them because I think socks are such a great stocking stuffer. In fact, I'll probably pick up some fuzzy socks for the woman. I haven't gotten those yet. Um, this is like a hand cream. I got this at Burlington Coat Factory. It's called Bloody Knuckles. It's specifically for men. My husband gets really dry hands in the winter. Really, really bad. Okay, so it's got like a, it's got a label here. I can't smell it, but it looks cool. I like the little boxing guys. That's cute. Is that it? Yeah. So, one more thing. I got my husband a mug. This is a cute. This is cute. It's Ray Dunn. It's not that he doesn't like care about Ray Dunn, obviously. I don't think most men would, but um, I have a Ray Dunn mug that he always steals and uses because he likes the heft of it. He likes the feel of it. So I thought this would be cute. I'll get him his own. And it says, Dad, this came from Marshalls. Uh, so yeah, that's our stocking stuffers. I am going to get busy and put them in our stockings. Our stockings. I had, one, I had a set of stockings for myself, my husband, and my daughter from Pottery Barn that I got three years ago. They all match. And this year I decided I was going to get my brother-in-law and my sister-in-law stockings to match ours. Well, I didn't realize when I bought them years ago, they came in sizes, and I bought my family small. And when I ordered them for my brother-in-law and sister-in-law, I got them the large size, so I hung them all up yesterday. And my brother and sister-in-law have a massive massive stocking so I need to go put some of the stockings and see if it fills them up I hope you guys enjoyed this I hope it gave you some inspiration for your own stocking stuffer shopping give this video a thumbs up if you liked it hit the red subscribe button I'm still doing vlogmas a new video every single day this month up to Christmas we're almost there I will see you guys tomorrow thanks for watching bye